All right, what's going on, boxer fans and gamers? It's your boy Fighting Ace Finest coming back with another video. It's a little live commentary. It's about what 3 a.m. in the morning, but I felt like uh, making a video for you guys. So here we are. Got a Sugar Ray Robinson going up against a Canelo Alvarez. Now it wouldn't be a ranked match if it wasn't one barn, but nonetheless, we're gonna make sure that we have a nice, clean, and a good fight, of course. All right, now like it says one barn, so you never know what kind of uh, opponent you're gonna get. So we're gonna start off nice and cost cautious, so I can read what it is that my opponent wants to do. Really in the main key here. It's a good little counter there. He made a mistake of going to the body without having the proper range. Now I always like to just start off observing, getting my moving right scene. And my opponent wants to throw high or low. It's a nice counter. Again, as we step off access, he seems to reach a lot um, with the right hand. So, on this game, you really can just dominate through the basics. And what do I mean by the basics? The basics is you have an understanding of range and how to utilize it. Really, just understanding the angles is. Extremely important. Go with a little high, uh, excuse me, low to high mix up there. And I went with the low high mix up because I just wanted to see if his block pattern will change at all. Because I don't really see him blocking low all that much. Hands have yet to drop, so. He continues to throw, uh, he continues to guard high first. So we can definitely look body first, either with the left hook or with the jab. Give a little variation there. Diagonal dash just to create some pressure. A little counter angle there. He was able to get his hands back up. Okay. Once again, go low. Cause the, the guard is not dropping. So the real target or the real distraction here is going to be going high. So we can really just dig to the body. One of Canelo's weaknesses. And I like the fact this is such a slow fight. Because um, the main thing is to try to be real intentional behind everything I throw. That's, that's my style. And to do what is necessary. Just kind of figure out my opponent's weaknesses and attack those, those weaknesses. So I, I think I want to say download complete at this point. Because I don't really see him switching things up all too much. When you get a player who's not, uh, you know, not rushing, this is where the beauty of this game comes in. Because then it becomes a, a real uh, strategy based game. Now, as I said, my intention based off of what I seen from round one is really just to make sure I, I distract high so I can really dig to the body with power shots. I can utilize the power jab in order to set that up or the left hook. I'm just gonna keep my offense that simple. Now I traded back there on the inside because I want him to know it's not sweet either. You know? Use the directional right hook to change angles there. I'm gonna step back so I can circle back to the center of the ring and then do my work. Um, the jab coming out and then power left hook downstairs to the body so while we did trade there um i think my shot was of more quality and even though right now the game is based off of who lands more um i still tend to look to have my shots be as quality as possible it's, it's going to come a point where the game will you know score correctly i would hope so especially with uh, the people that are in place on staff and, you know, the company in general valuing simulation boxing. You don't want to practice bad habits, even in a patch where you feel it's not a uh, conducive to do so. So 
One thing about this Canelo player that maybe you guys haven't noticed as of yet is a lot of players, and it's not just this Canelo, I should have made that statement a little bit more broad because this is usually the case. As I go ahead and land the, the power hook downstairs to the body. A lot of players on this game always lash out. It's as soon as you make some type of contact. And as we land a quick combination there, I opened up uh, the back a little bit so I can once again reach my goal, which will be making sure that I'm landing downstairs to the body. Now, there's the taunt, so the frustration is starting to settle in. And we're, our play style and our patience is having an impact on him psychologically. Now, he just landed two, and I only dished out one. So I need to make sure the next one that I throw, which ended up being a counter, is uh, you know, nice and impactful. We get another counter upstairs today with the counter jab. So I don't want my opponent to rage quit here. I'm going to be a little bit more active with my punches, but I'm not going to let him take me out of my game plan. Um, now that's what uh, on fight night, right? That jab straight to the body that he just threw will be considered a, a weak punish because, you know, typically it, it doesn't do a lot of damage, right? As we land another power jab to that, another power jab downstairs, another one. I'm going to throw another one just to make sure. Um, like I said, I want to keep him entertained. I don't want to be bored. So I'm stepping up the pace a little bit here as we throw the left hook followed by the power straight and the jab to make sure that we got out of range. I just want to make sure that I'm once again getting to my goal of landing the, the low shots because that's that's where we can actually do the most damage. That was a counter downstairs to the body, so a little clunky towards the end of the round, but all in all, not too bad. So, the cards, now that he's seen he's down three rounds to zip, it's only going to make him either play more aggressive or he's going to throw more. So, it's, it's one of the two options because he's already shown that sign of frustration at the beginning of the last round. So, what we got to do is just continue with the game plan here, and as long as we continue to have success... As we block the incoming jab downstairs to the body. Um, there it is. Another hard shot. Alright, we're going to go ahead and circle. Let the stamina bar refilled. Another uh, little stamina tip for you guys too. I haven't really dropped too many tips on this game. Because, um, like I said, things change a lot. Since the game is still in early access. But, um, when you throw a power shot... Typically, you do want to make sure you're getting your guard back up because you don't want to take return fire, right? You want to be defensively responsible as the desync is starting to come a little bit more apparent, which is part of also the reason I didn't go into loose movement. But let me get back to my initial point. Um, throwing the power shot and then guarding immediately afterwards also doesn't negate your stamina recovery. So keep that in mind. We are throwing uh, power shots. Okay. Once again, it's, you know, been a little bit more passive this round. So I'm going to see if I can land some nice uh, hooks. And just some quality shots to the head so I can potentially stood around. But might be his first round. Just due to the lack of activity. I'm even going to switch into loose movement here. Make sure that uh, the shots that I am landing are a little bit more impactful. Now I'm targeting the head instead of the body because headshots in any boxing game is going to score more than body shots. So, let's see here. We still maintain 100% health. Nothing too crazy. And keep pushing on okay. So, staying loose movement this round just to kind of see um, how he reacts to that or if it's something he even notices. If he continues with the same strategy, um, then, you know, we don't really have to change all that much up. Now, if you're noticing also, uh, Canelo's skipping a little bit more. I'm going to wait for him to come in. I feel like loose movement, and by feel like, I should say, I think, loose movement actually causes the game to desync a little bit more. So that's why part of the reason why I also stay out of it. 
and, and just the initial fact that you do take double the damage and i'm already out boxing without loose movement but um i just wanted to see how he, how he will react and he's just getting more aggressive so get into loose movement now because my block health needs to regenerate and i didn't need to just react there because the range wasn't proper okay I did take two shots to the head, so that's why I threw a double hook upstairs back. Let's see if I can do a little bit more damage. Yeah, that's the hard shot to the body. And that first hook did land. Okay. I notice what happens when I stop moving as much. It tends to throw a lot more in combination. There's the counter. Even though it didn't register, I did uh, connect with a step back there. Power hook to the body and a regular hook up top. On her, on the lean back, he's been throwing that one too consistently. So the, the pullback is there. The backwards slip, that one, is available. I know I can directional dodge there and get the counter off because he's been leading a lot with the left, hook, with the left hand, so. That's how I was able to set up the counter power hook downstairs to the body. So once again, I'm 100% uh, head health. We're at 91% stamina. Just taking our time and, you know, basics. Now, when that hit stun comes out uh, because of the desync, you got to remember, as we get the counter hook downstairs to the body, uh, you can get tagged back on the second reaction. So that's why I didn't uh, go back immediately. Another little hook downstairs to the body. Okay, directional hook. So I want to circle out. He was getting, he was shrinking the ring geography there. Throw the check hook here. You really don't want to throw the check hook naked. That was a mistake on my end. Okay. Now that's the first time we've seen him block low, so I'm gonna open up with a head combination now up top. Just to get him away from thinking about the, the hard shots downstairs to the body. Hard jab again. Hard straight coming in, try to get him to respect range, and I saw an opportunity there to get to the body hook, but he was able to block it. Let's counter up top. Another one. Okay, got him stepping back now. See if we can apply some pressure slowly here. Okay, now I need to get out of dodge. So I'm gonna turn loose movement on. I might block recover. Score some points from the outside with the jab and the straight. There's the pullback that was blocked. But now that opens up the hook downstairs to the body. And there's a right uppercut. He can hold that one as well. Okay, let him come in, power jab, nice. Get the hands back up, and then that takes us into the seventh round. So we did expand a little bit more stamina there, but you know, it's, it's high 80s, you can't complain with that. And we're up 54 to 60. So we're up six rounds to zip. Counter hook, and he counters back. Now, the question is how does he generate a counter window there if it was one shot landed. I didn't throw a second input. And it could have been like a partially landed shot. But sometimes the hit reactions that you get don't make that clear whether it was a hit reaction or not. Okay, and we're back to the trolling. So I can get out of the loose movement here and I can steadily take my time. Okay, does the counter jab. Kind of hook downstairs to the body. Another hard shot. And once again, now we're going to get him trained up top. Let him come in. There's the jab followed by the straight. And we're going to circle out. Let him reset. Walk into, let him walk into the shot. There it is. And now I'm going to start introducing another dimension to the offense, which would be the power straight when he's coming in aggressive. All right. Angle set up pretty good here. There it is. And now I'm going to start using the lies in the lead hook a little bit more too. Followed by the straight to the head. 
Let him come in. Walk downstairs to the body. Keep him honest. Oops. Now that missed uppercut. Remember, I'm 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 ba basically what I'm doing is I'm varying the attack now, so he doesn't know what option he needs to really worry about. As the power hook downstairs to the body is available now, and now I don't want to trade with Canelo on the inside, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of the pocket. Let him come in. There's the power jab again. Directional dodge, power hook downstairs to the body. Hook, and then there's the power straight. Let him come in. And then the power straight to the body would have been next. All right, let's take center ring here and try to be a little bit more aggressive now that it's round eight because this perk is going to kick in. So now I'm okay with sitting in the pocket with him. There we go, there's the power jab. Another one. Power hook downstairs to the body. Simple offense with the double hooks. Uppercut in the hook. Power jab. You know, it comes in, that's the power straight to the body. All right. Loose movement into our block rate comes back up or our block gauge comes back to full health. All right, set up some traps here. Let me come in. Hard straight connects. And there's the lead hook again. That I said we were gonna start implementing. Like this, let him come in. Effective offense. Hard jab, hard jab again. Span the stamina bar a little bit. Can't take it with us, so we start utilizing it. And get out of loose movement, and now we can just chill a little bit. So start setting some traps. Okay. Okay, get in the pocket here. Double hooks. Jab. Okay, double hooks again. No more than two. All right, let's keep on flowing. On the inside here, I'm just looking for openings, really. I don't mind taking some damage here. Try it down a little bit. I'm trying to see if there's some opportunities where I can just go in my office in short bursts. I'm coming. I'm coming and get comfortable. There's the power straight. Now we start taking over with the single shots. Cause I let him tee off a little bit, so you should feel a little bit more comfortable now to walk in. There's a three piece, but it doesn't really do all that much. Our jab today. Let's circle out, set another trap. It's the hard upper cut downstairs to the body. I know he's gonna feel that one. Keep him honest. Let the jab come out. Touch jab. I don't need to throw everything hard. It's the jab, check hook, and come in. And the counter hook downstairs to the body. Power uppercut to the body. And continue to set him up. There's the power jab now. Switch up the variants. We're gonna go low into a high. With the power uppercut to the body, followed by the hook to the head, and another one. Step out of range, circle out, and then let him walk into the jab. Okay. Power straight to the body. Do this. It's the first time I felt like we was really able to land successfully too. The defense, don't stand in the pocket, don't come in. This time we added the straight to 
the power hook that was being thrown to the body. So just to give it a little bit more layer. And this is the first time we've lost 2% health, which is fine. Because, you know, like I said, we let him tee off a little bit. But I still think it was a round that we won, but no. Okay. It's the first round that we dropped, so we know not to do that anymore. Let's get back to boxing. I don't got to do too much. Because, hey, if it ain't broke, don't, don't get too fancy. Signs of a good player is you can understand what you was maybe doing a little bit too much. Now, I don't have any goal of trying to knock out Canelo out with a granite chin because it doesn't really make much sense. Even with all the work that we've done to the body, it still doesn't really make much sense to attempt to go for a knockout against Canelo. So, just respect the matchup. It's a jab. Let's keep him honest. Come in. It's the jab. I have a longer reach and I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to come into the body first. As expected, jab again, hook downstairs to the body, block both shots, dodge, there's the hook again, success, that's another one, and now I'm going to throw a little uh, three piece up top, because I'm sure he's just expecting one, so, and there, there he goes with the uh, jab straight, jab straight to the body. Like I said, that scores well in this game, and it shouldn't, but this is why we can't sit in the pocket. Let's get back to those single shots. Nope. One, two, three. Get the pocket. Use the directional hook and just change the angle there. Step off access and look for the check hook. Eh, it was there. Had a nasty, nasty body hook lined up, but desync galore. Look, I'm just teeing off. Lockhouse stays high, though, and we secure another round. So, at this point, right, it's, it's very important to remember that it is his job to make up the fight. It's his job to determine what happens. It's his job to determine how everything kind of goes, right? So, if he cannot knock me out, I don't need to force it. Especially in a game where you, you know, you can get ragdolls or anything for no reason. I just want to stay boxing and you know, play the matchup to the best of my ability. Now, I stood in the pocket there too long. Go loose movement, see if I can do some more damage here. Something like this. Power straight, let loose with that. You can get this respect. Power jab. Try to follow by the straight. Throw another one. Little one twos. One twos. Now I'm going to reverse the one two here with the back step straight and then I'm going to walk into the power jab. Now I'm going to throw one to the body. Keep him honest. Come on in. The water's fine for the power jab. Defense into offense, two effective shots versus his six ineffective shots. Now we're just going on the counter barrage here. There's again. Hold that. Mm. Oof. hands high and he pretty much got to my block health there so I couldn't defend myself which is fine and I find it funny that the taunt even came out because it doesn't change the fact that he's pretty much losing every round so A small victory for him I suppose I got caught, I uh, think, by a ghost shot. Uh, I didn't see exactly what hit me, but I was throwing a power straight to that and got caught by something. So, the power Canelo B stay defensively responsible, hold the counter. Oh, yes. Come in, come in, come in, come in. 
All right, let's get out of the dodge. Okay. Once again, power shot downstairs to the body. Score as well. Check hook. Let's get out of the corner. All good power shots just landed there. Now, is it the smartest thing to go into loose movement here? Probably not. Oof. Jesus. And go down again. Just trying to let my block health come up a little bit, but like I said, it wasn't the smartest thing to go into loose movement, but hey, happens. Okay, just stand there and just look for health to come back up. There we go. Down, good power shot downstairs to the body. See if we can keep him slowed. Or the counter hook to the head. Oh, yeah. That one closes it out. So a little rough finish there, but all in all, I thought it was a pretty good fight. Pretty fun fight. Nothing, no crazy spam or anything going on besides the one bar connection. All in all, it was a good experience. If you guys enjoyed the video, right? I need you to do me a favor. Hit the like button. Leave your thoughts about the fight in general in the comment section below, especially if you learned something. If I helped you in any way with your game, i like to know that and also consider uh, becoming a channel member today. If you haven't, get the little join button, which is next to the subscribe button. And uh, it gives you the perk of whenever I live stream, you guys can have some online matches with me and you get invited to the discord. Also, if you want a uh, coaching session with me, you can hit me on the back end on either through Twitter, which you can find in the description, or you can hit me on my discord, which is Sim Academy. And we can get it cracking from there. Anyway, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one.